Jaguars and the Philadelphia Eagles. Of these 0 and 3 teams will visit the win column for the first time. We'll see. We're underway here in week four. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, time to perfect play and knock it free. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Greg Ward, deep for Philadelphia. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and played. Placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Here we go. Back, back to the lady. Back to the lady. Back to throw now in his own end zone. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. 11 yards for number 11. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple of nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. 
And this Charles definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably crossed that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much, and it turned out that it got into his head a little bit. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Lawrence to throw. Open man is Kirk complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Jacksonville made Christian Kirk the headliner of the 2022 free agency spending spree, and he's one of the highest-paid receivers in the league right now. So what do they expect? For him to get his first career 1,000-yard season and give them big-time production. He gets them a first down right there. On first and 10, it's ETN. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Lawrence will throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And third and one now. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run with ETN. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis Etienne, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Finding space at the 40. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. The Eagles had 0-3 here to begin the campaign. And you hate to have to say it this early in the season, but getting close to must-win time, is it not? And I totally understand why you expressed it that way, because it's so early in the season, it feels like hyperbole. But I think you are spot on on this one. Yes, there's still time to turn things around, but they've got to start to win right now if they have any hopes of trying to make the playoffs. But first down, Hurts complete to Zacchaeus. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. They go play action with Hurts. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. 
Trayvon Walker brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll roll him out right. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 28. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. They run with Ford down at the 25. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play action. Here's Hertz. Sliding out of the pocket. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Patterson now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. offense sent to begin their next drive and job one here Charles just keep possession of the football two drives two turnovers to this point you're exactly right doctor Hippocratic oath first do look at this middle of the field a breakaway touchdown Philadelphia Jerome Ford with his first career NFL touchdown and the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six think you can get any more efficient or tidy whatever word you want to use in that and one play 75 yards in zone yeah efficient tidy excellent words how about explosive 75 yards one play that means everyone handled their assignment doesn't it it doesn't just mean that the defense broke down they really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard big time play Big time result. From the end zone comes Chris Claybrooks to return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Now Lawrence to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. One thing they definitely like about this youngster is his motor. He is full throttle on each and every snap. Loves to get after the quarterback. And that has to feel good to him right there. His first career sack. To try again after the sack, Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Running out of the gun with ETN. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They go play action now. Lawrence. He'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. On play action, Lawrence. Throw right side, caught by Ridley. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. That's complete to Travis Etienne out of the backfield. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. 
ETN on the toss right. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Lawrence. Flush. And he can't find a receiver. And he's brought down. Disastrous outcome there on third and goal. They lose nine yards on the sack. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal. Backs against the wall. And they get a monster sack. And now they're going to force him into a field goal. For them, that's a win. Patterson's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. at the line this Philly offense set to go well partner you know coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown sometimes that's not really true but last drive that was the case one play to get into the end zone and now they'll try to duplicate that success here and it's rare for those moments to happen incredible when they do and you saw the celebration pure unbridled joy after that one well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and six, just inside the 30. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. throw and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 able to convert on third and 14 a terrific play call first and 10 here you know if they could just get three out of this something about whittling it to a one score game at half that might provide a psychological boost throwing his hurts to the left there and complete to the tight end Goddard and yeah, they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done the Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Here's Hurts to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. 
Picked up by Andre Sisko. There he goes, right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. The mistakes continuing to pile up, and it looked like they were going to be able to eat into that deficit. Instead, now the deficit is even larger. Yeah, they were on a march with a chance to get back within a score, but now that deficit continues to grow. Extra point try now for Patterson. That'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. going to run it here up the middle and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach it's the Eagles ready to see the football first and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. From the 24, Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Andre Sisko. Well, they're certainly in a bad way right now. Not so bad that you can call this one over already, but bad enough that you know you can't toss an interception to open the second half. This just ratchets up the pressure on this team's defense right now. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they had the big halftime lead. Their defense just helped them out further by forcing the turnover, so things are starting to look pretty rosy. They certainly are, but they've got to be careful about getting complacent, though. They still need to go out and run their offense efficiently. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good at training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. Play action. It's Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. 
On second down, ETN once more. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And trying to shake free, but ETN cannot. The defense will stop him short. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Try and throw for it with Lawrence. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So a big play there on fourth. And now first and 10 at the 30. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. Trying for Kirk, and he's got him on the crossing route. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Rolling to his left. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it third down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just... And yeah, the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Through an opening, and there he goes. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And you wonder, I mean, is it even possible, especially for the quarterback, to mentally reset after that quick of a turnaround? Well, we're certainly going to find out, aren't we? Because that play will stay in your mind, but somehow you have to compartmentalize. Put it aside, pick yourself up, and get moving in the right direction. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Second and 10, here's Lawrence again. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. 
On third down, here's ETN. He's going to have the first down and then some. And this will be a Jaguars first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. First down, right back to ETN. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's Lawrence. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. The Jaguars on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. Now Lawrence. Escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he'll take this up to about the 7- or 8-yard line. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And the slot man goes in motion left. Trap 50, trap 50. Throwing on second and three. Hurts over the middle complete. That's four. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive 
and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16 yard line. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. In motion left is Watkins. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down. Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance. The passing game's off balance and the defense is taking advantage. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, Bleed the clock down with about 95% chance. Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it. Every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. And they'll go again with ETN. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. 
Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And Ingram holds it in. And the Jags are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So for Jacksonville, it took a few weeks, but they finally get their first one of the season here in week four. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll sink now to 0-4. And, and they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. I'm stepping on the scene like I never did reply I ain't gotta justify, I'm cool.